Hello, everyone, and welcome to CGA's Rising Stars interview series. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to acknowledge that our interview today is being held on the lands of the Bunurong, Bungurong, and Wandri Wurrurung peoples of the Eastern Kulin Nation, and I wish to acknowledge them as the traditional owners. I would also like to pay my respects to their elders past, present, and emerging. My name is Amy Met, and I'm casting director at Nick Hammond Casting and I am so excited to be chatting with one of our rising star recipients, the incredibly talented Lily Sullivan. Hello, <laughs> Lily. <laughs> hello, hello. How's that intro for you? <laughs> I know, I'm blushing, I'm blushing. I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> Good on you. Thanks so much for joining and congratulations. Thank you so much. It's so, yeah, for the for the year that we've all been through, this is such a nice little, you know, yeah. little pat on the back. I mean, not little, big. It's so it's really wonderful. It really it's is. huge. Well, Thanks. I mean, being it recognised is. by casting directors around Australia, that must be quite, yeah, quite an achievement to feel it that way. Wonderful. Too. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, good on you. Now, I believe you're uh, originally from Queensland. I am. Right? I am indeed. Queensland as called, well. Me too. Oh, yeah. From Carbrook, <laughs> yeah. a place called Carbrook, which is great. Yep. Um, my school had like alpacas and veggie patch and oh. it was um, it was a good time. But then moved to Melbourne. Perfect. Yeah. And so did you, same as did you. you start? Same. Yep. Yeah, same as me. Did you start acting in in Queensland or did you do it all here in Melbourne? In Queensland. In Queensland. Yeah. Up the up the road in um, Tweed Heads. There was, yeah, an open cool. casting call. And um, and did, was that the casting call for Mentor or was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It oh, was. It was. Wow. And the first film to be alongside the likes of Rebecca Gibney, Tony Collette, Anthony LaPaglia, Liv Schreiber, and like. Yeah. Schreiber, I should say. Um, Schreiber, yeah. And <laughs> d- yeah, director PJ Hogan, like. How's that for your first break? Yeah, for my yeah, first ever role, it was so, so incredible. Like they're all such incredibly different actors and all such absolute heavyweights. I felt like the, yeah. the first thing that I learned was like, okay, cool. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Everyone has their own flair, <laughs> their own way to express yeah. themselves. And uh, I'm going to now try to figure out what the hell mine is. <laughs> it was great. It was amazing Absolutely. to have a first crack. Well, yeah, well, I mean, you first crack and you landed a nomination for an actor, best young actor. I mean, how was that feeling? Yeah, it was it was surreal to go for like any kind of a, a awards. It's just it's yeah. it's really it's really wonderful because it's such an intimate experience shooting something. You've got your little family who you work with, and you're like, we have no idea what we're making. I hope it's really good. <laughs> um, yeah, and then to have that kind of experience after with all the crew and all the cast is yeah, it was awesome. It's quite special. And um, so obviously, you know, you've done already achieved so much and have been a part of so many projects. Like, you know, if you're going from Picnic at Hanging Rock and Barkskins, which was this year, is that right? Yeah. A yeah, new series yeah. this year. Yeah. And then, you know, to the likes of The Other Guy, season two, where they're so contrasting uh, projects. Do you have a preference in genres or do you just love to do a bit of everything? Oh, definitely a bit of everything. I feel like I feel like jumping between the two keeps you sane. It's it's a, it's a good time. Yeah, 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 for sure. And what's what do you find? You know, the difference between you know, com- do you find you having to do more work in comedy or more work with drama? Like, do you find ones harder Ooh. or is it more more work with comedy in a way? Because I feel like with drama, that's like you really flesh it out, you marinate. Whereas you know, working with people like Harriet Dyer, who's just like a nut job and I mean, you know, matter kind, which is yes. such a hoot. You're like, oh, cool. Yeah. So we're not sticking to the script today. You're now just riffing over there, and I'm just gonna <laughs> respond to that. Um, so yeah, I feel great. like comedy keeps you comedy keeps you on your toes. Um, yeah, but yeah, drama is just it's always so much fun as well for me. I find it easier than um, than I think comedy. But yeah, I love of course. Oh, good. And um, what about you know any memorable projects that you've worked on since you started? Is there anyone that oh, stuck out? I feel like every single job is such a whirlwind and like melting pot of like memorable moments yep. and people. It could be the location, it could be the content, like that you feel so passionate about or that lines up with your morals so deeply that it's like just so exciting. Um. I don't know if I could pick. I mean, you could never beat the first time ever stepping on set 
and looking at Tony Collette and being like, I love Muriel's wedding. And <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> um, and then, you know, going Absolutely. to Columbia and being like, cool, this, I'm being paid to do this. This is, yeah. Harry Potter? So yeah. surreal. You know. Oh, my God. <laughs> so surreal. You're crazy. So, yeah, I don't crazy. know. It's hard to choose. Hard to choose. Yeah. No, that's all right. You've done a stack of amazing projects. So no wonder. <laughs> And um, so what about I Met a Girl you just shot and is just had its world uh, festival premiere, I believe, last yeah. week. Yeah, um, yeah. Can you tell us a bit about that and your character that you played in that film? Um, yeah, well, the story follows a young, colourful, wonderful man who's battling with his mental illness, his own inner monologue, his own mind, Um and it's a story about love, codependent relationships, heartbreak. Um, and, yeah, I, I mean, I, I would love so much to explain Lucy, but I can't because it actually is a no. kind <laughs> of, it's a bit of a spoiler. I feel like it's a film yeah. that you just got to jump in. It's a, it's, a, it's a whirlwind. Yeah, that's great. Well, we can't wait to see it. I don't think it's out till mid next year. Would that mm. be right? Yeah, yeah. COVID, yes. COVID releasing. Like... bloody COVID <laughs> but we must give a shout out to Stevie Ray who did the casting for that CGA member um he pulled together an incredible cast so yeah so Stevie yes <laughs> and you, look Stevie. now you obviously <laughs> yeah exactly so you're obviously still so young yourself and have achieved so much already but still got so much more to come no doubt yeah, I feel Is like there any yeah advice? I've like achieved a lot you're like I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> yeah, yeah <continue. laughs> you're on the right path you're on the right path <laughs> So, look, is there any advice you could give to, you know, so, you know, take back to, you know, what you at your age when you first landed the first role and any advice you would give to young aspiring actors that might be watching this interview? Um, yeah, I feel like something I have definitely learned and as soon as I did I was very, very uh, chuffed is just get really comfortable with embarrassing yourself because that's when the fun begins. Don't bother beating yourself up. Be kind and support yourself like you do the ones you love. It's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, I that's couldn't what I've learned. With you more. <laughs> yeah, good. Well, I think you start to develop like what it is that you should be auditioning for and not just audition for anything and everything just for the sake of it. I mean, you've got to, it's got to ring true to you and feel and totally. resonate with you, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, incredible. That's great advice. Thank you yeah. so much, Lily. Well, Sorry, that's that's all sense. we have to do today. <laughs> It's a good choice, awesome. trust me. Um, well, okay. thank you so much today and we've loved chatting with you and I um, you. I wish we could be in the room celebrating the awards. It's such a fun party, but um, uh, alas, here we are over Zoom. I know, <laughs> and, um, I know. Hopefully, well, we'll see you on the screen, no doubt, soon and hopefully we'll see you in person even sooner. Yay. Thanks you so hey. much. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. Thank you.